I suggest we um, uh, some like the rest of the group members who who did submitted some uh, materials and um, it's maybe far from ideal but still good. Um, the materials are a little bit diverse. Uh, they are on different subjects, so uh, we cannot um, coherently work on the same thing. Um, there is a there are figures and results from Aaron. There are methods and um, introduction from Kevin, and there are conclusions from uh, Fatima. So in some sense, we have all components of a good paper, but from different authors and in different subjects. So it will be a little bit um, um, ra random sections today. And um, I would like to uh, invite uh, everyone to um, I don't know if, if it is secret or, or, or not, but uh, Aaron, are you in use secret or, or not? What do you mean? <laughs> it sounds like a secret about uh, the uh, college. About the news from college. Oh, the award. Uh huh. Okay, you you told this word, so it is not secret <laughs> anymore. Um. So it so I, I do not have the whole picture, but it sounds like uh, Aaron will uh, is 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 getting progress in uh, getting an award from from college. Maybe let's upload only when when he get it in hand, but uh, uh, let's send him. Uh, uh, support so that it it comes to successful completion. Uh, so I will tell a couple of words of conclusions for the slides from previous uh, years. We will just review and um, um, we will just go over and um, develop comments to those materials that are available right now. So. What should we do next time? Um, maybe since uh, only uh, Kevin provided conclusions last time, Fatima provided conclusions today, maybe uh, we will walk forward with a little delay and uh, all of us will try to make a little sketch of conclusion section for, for each uh, paper next on the next meeting so that we come on the to the same page, if there are no objections. Um, I, I do not, it's it's not a big matter for me, but if we all are concentrating on, on one subject, the mutual help seems to be more more efficient. And then we, we think uh, on a sim similar uh, page. So I am going to share, share the screen and go over um, go over some uh, materials and then um, we will um, spend maybe half an hour reviewing materials and then sharing comments and then maybe depart uh, and, and, and relax and come next week so uh there is, and please stop me if, if, if there are any urgent things to, to discuss uh, or if uh, something is um, going not in the way you are expecting. So we do have a um, goal of completing the, converting the research that uh, has been done by today into papers and uh, some of us, Kevin, uh, urgently needs to complete the thesis because his defense are is really really close and for all of these uh, products the conclusions is the uh, critically important part of course having conclusions only you cannot win the case but uh, it is um, um, very reasonable to start with them I'll, I'll try to Share, share this document for next meeting to, to everyone. So as soon as conclusions are ready for the paper, 
when it, it gives additional leverage and power to um, organize the rest of the paper in the best possible way. So today we will do more freestyle and uh, next week I suggest we all go over this paper for each uh, uh, author who will complete conclusions. So um, if as a reviewers we will try to uh, sketch some uh, feedback in, uh, in the main message, if um, as a reviewer I write down how I uh, interpret uh, the main message that author is uh, trying to communicate, this will be a critically important communication to the to the author because uh, the mm, it is a very standard uh, situation I know a lot of colleagues and, and it happens to myself and uh, I, I saw uh, any generation of, of uh, researchers and, and writers when I am writing something myself I it is very hard to be critical to something that, that I am writing. And uh, there is an attempt to assume that the reader is on the same page as the author. That the reader will understand uh, between lines all my thoughts. And if reviewer uh, is summarizing main message that has been caught from the conclusions into this uh, form, then the author can judge whether uh, his or her message was received well. Uh, you know that, uh, I don't know, it's maybe not in universal, maybe not in all countries, but there is a, a game for kids, uh, the broken telephone. When uh, people are sitting in a, in a circle and um, passing a message by whispering to the ear of a neighbor and then the neighbor passes it to the next neighbor and then the message passes around and typically completely loses uh, the original sense. Um, when it is only two peers between uh, author and reviewer, this can be not as dangerous, but uh, a little feedback uh, so that the mm, message has, been, has not been lost is um, good practice. Again, um, the reviewer may try to recognize from the conclusions what was the main reason to uh, study the subject. Like, uh, was the author trying to develop new theory or maybe help uh, experiment or develop some interpretation? So um, this has basically the same, same meaning as the previous one. On one hand, on another one, another hand, uh, uh, when you will be asked uh, by editors of two journals to submit reviews to them, and uh, uh, you will, each of you will get it this, this time. The standard request for review demand to briefly explain uh, what the paper about and who who will uh, need it. Um, uh, the next section that the, review, the reviewer may identify in the conclusions is uh, what is mostly impressive in, in this uh, piece of writing. Um, the goal of asking the reviewer to, to find it is a little exercise that uh, it's also feedback that will help author to design the conclusion in such a way that the reviewer will be able to take some uh, to, 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 to grasp some take home message. So um, although generally scientific uh, writing and effort uh, should be like cold, academic and uh, emotional as uh, most as, as humans we, we cannot completely 
uh, with without emotions and authors uh, often have ex uh, excitation and emotions about certain aspects of, uh, of the work and it is uh, right place and time to share it in the conclusions. Uh, limitations um, there is nothing strange in uh, attempt to tell in, uh, for viewers to try to tell why uh, what are the limitations and shortcomings um, of the methods and um, reviewers are instructed by editors to find weak sites of uh, papers and, and proposals um, in practice in real life reviewers do not read and try to do not try to understand each uh, equation and derivation in the, in the methods section uh, reviewers read until first thing that is suspicious or not clear and start complaining uh, vividly and uh, um, we just need to prepare to this uh, life and uh, if if I'm playing the role of reviewer I need to help author to uh, to be ready to mitigate such criticism in, in the future if uh, in our uh, in-house activity I'm playing the role of author I need someone to help me to prepare to refute uh, future criticism of uh, of the reviewer. So, um, if as a reviewer you see um, that some wordings or explanations read from conclusions sound suspicious uh, or methods are not trustable, it's uh, uh, it's better if you mention it here in the group rather than a true reviewer uh, will find it after submission. So the section here is not always present in standard conclusions. It is more um, a plan to reach to the high impact journals and uh, attract broader audience. So often the subject uh, that uh, author is describing is um, known to attract attention of the community it's often uh, authors decide to address some uh, hot question which is so new that uh, there are ambiguous opinions on, on certain aspects in, in the community and if as a reviewer you do see uh, traces of, uh, of such situation in the conclusions it's, uh, it makes sense to uh, highlight it and, and help uh, author. So it's, it's not a negative thing, it's positive. So if, if uh, you can say that the author whom I am reviewing is providing an opinion to controversial statement, it means like a big plus. It means that uh, you are promoting the paper that you are reviewing. Again, uh, the review doesn't necessarily the, the word review doesn't necessarily mean that uh, the work that you are reviewing that you are criticizing the uh, criticism the, the review doesn't immediately mean that it is negative. It can be positive uh, review and positive criticism. And um, um, if you do see as a reviewer that author is resolving some open challenge in the field, it's um, a very good place to um, give credit to the author. Or even if uh, some open challenge in the field is not fully addressed, but there is an attempt to resolve it, it's also reasonable to give credit to the author. Um, hypothesis. This is not a critically mandatory part but it is uh, very typical, uh, especially in proposals and in, in uh, uh, high impact journals. So um, there is a style of thinking when 
um, one formulates a problem, one immediately declares the possible solution and only then tries to provide argument for the solution. So this style of thinking, uh, mm, a lot of us were observing this style of thinking uh, in uh, calculus when studying mathematical theorems. So uh, theorems are, uh, well, it, the tradition is, is a little bit different in uh, different universities and, and, and different, different cultures, but the modern calculus was originally designed and taught for like 300 years uh, in this style, so that uh, the main statement is uh, offered first and then uh, for the 40 minutes of the instructor trying to prove it. So if you see traces of this healthy logical thinking um, in the conclusions of the paper you are reviewing, if you see that uh, author was operating terms of hypothetical answer, hypothetical statement, possible proof, so um, it is uh, very reasonable to identify if such uh, aspects uh, were in the paper were present in the paper and then it is a credit if, or were absent in the paper and then you tell uh, you may also suggest that also uh, does it in the, in the future the next question sounds very very childish but uh, it often uh, wins the case um, so if you write down that um, broad audience, if you give some argument that um, the conclusions, the trends reported in the conclusions for, for hot subject are important for several communities, for the broad audience, so that it is worse of uh, distributing to the, uh, this content to a broader audience, it will be a strong argument to editor to accept it, even if there are some uh, uh, shortcomings in technical aspects. So if, um, if you want to um, promote and support, if you like a paper that you are reviewing, uh, it is a very appropriate place to uh, put your positive credit uh, telling that it is uh, um, ready for a broad audience. The next uh, part is um, is also a little bit childish, um, but this is a prompt how to write a positive review rather than negative. So um, if you really, if I really am enjoying what I'm reading, I can uh, be emotional and start that uh, um, I'm really enchanted by, enchanted by the subject that author is uh, studying um, Jeros in a positive way and I want to start like change my focus of research and do the same thing because it is so cool so um, um, it's not not, uh, not introduction it's conclusions um, Clearance of presentation, it's uh, just objective criteria. If, you, if it is easy to read or hard to read, you just mention. Um, also, the next thing is uh, not super important, but it is a uh, standard error uh, that, because of the human style of thinking, while I am writing a conclusion, I am thinking that my reader has read all previous materials like introduction, methods, results, discussion, digital figures there is no guarantee that a reader will do it there, uh, there are no laws that mandate reader to uh, start reading from the beginning and uh, in our days of abundance of information a lot of people start reading from the conclusion so it should it is a good style to have a conclusion uh, formulated as a standalone do document like no do not use abbreviations uh, that were introduced in, in uh, 
at the beginning of the of the paper. Try uh, do not use too much technical words. So it, it should be accessible for um, a little bit more general audience than uh, professionals who read your methods and, and results. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you something that looks more like a, a, a joke. Um, I was getting an instruction from um, the program manager of, of um, one of the federal funds to write down an abstract for, for the proposal. And the, uh, I don't know how serious was it or it was a joke, but it was uh, um, literate instructions. To write the document in such way that in, it can be comprehended by middle schooler of sixth uh, grade or by U.S. senator. So, uh, so by, by a person who, who is uh, not uh, focusing on the on getting specific knowledge in, in the specific area, um, and um, but giving some uh, emotion uh, and um, uh, is genuinely not encouraged in scientific writing, but in conclusions, it is uh, um, it is okay. So um, for us, for for today, it was just a little entertainment. But uh, next week, uh, I'm inviting everyone to have the conclusions uh, uh, ready, and we will probably fill this form for for each conclusion for for each section. And today, uh, let me suggest that we just uh, open the submitted documents and uh, try to develop um, comments as much as possible for maybe um, 20, 30 minutes and then uh, share, share them uh, verbally and uh, by sending them to, to the authors. Uh, any other any objections against uh, this plan? Okay, so um, I'm going to open these documents one by one and uh, develop, uh, develop some uh, comments. I'll switch, I probably switch off the microphone so that we do not develop feedback, but if someone needs uh, to discuss something, just switch on the microphone and we'll continue discussion. And in like 20, 30 minutes, I'll uh, invite everyone to get back to the comments. If you need me to or open writing privileges for any of the documents, let me know.
Uh, let me suggest we start a uh, quick discussion. I don't know if the connection will stay uh, the whole thing, so we'll uh, maybe share a little rather, rather than nothing. Uh, who wants to tell anything about uh, Kevin's work? I will start and uh, uh, if anyone has more uh, suggestions or questions, please uh, sp speak up. I didn't uh, went through the introduction, but uh, one needs uh, the... Um, um, I, I anticipate one, one would need references and uh, Kevin, please contact uh, to me directly for getting a license for end mode. Um, it, 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 it's really needed here. For the equations, uh, some of the equations are really uh, nicely using uh, equation editor with subscripts and all uh, um, units, all um, um, elements, and but starting from some point, uh, uh, one like equation eight uh, definitely needs uh, a lot of care about all uh, subscripts and superscripts right now. Um, co committee members and through of, of your thesis and uh, reviewers of the paper will not tolerate uh, this uh, and it's a fix of maybe i don't know five minutes the um, m in the redfield equation of motion you are using uh, autocorrelation function between uh, two non-adiabatic couplings which is not like orders of many, it's, it's not like uh, critically wrong, but uh, it is not it is not literally right. So uh, um, you are correct that product of uh, non-adiabatic couplings, uh, our correlation function is responsible for the rate of dissipation, but literally uh, one needs um, another symbol. The symbol here is not autocorrelation function but Redfield and the connection is that uh, they are Fourier transform of, uh, of each other. So another little thing that uh, you are invited to meditate on um, <clears throat> is notation in, in this uh, last equation. So you do have several um, notations, several symbols for a sub for a quantity that seems the same or very close and it is it is not clear like if I'm uh, if I pretend that I never saw the subject it, it looks confusing. So you do have uh, eps Greek epsilon for time-dependent expectation energy of uh, orbitals. Fine. Then suddenly you, you use uh, uppercase Latin E. And you uh, add the subscripts electron and hole. And then in the, in the next uh, you are using this uh, upper uh, Writing with e divided by h. So, it, it, uh, please um, request help of group members, uh, look through the papers, or, or just sit and meditate. Make sure that uh, these um, elements come come from each other. Like what's, what's the difference of these uh, three things, or what, what is their similarity? Uh, I apologize for very quick and very simple edits. Uh, does anyone has more uh, comments and suggestions for the work by Kevin? Um, if if you have some, but oh, Aaron, I see you you remove the unmuted the microphone. Or Fatima, 
Does it mean that someone will... Oh, okay. You want, yeah. to, you want to say something about Kevin's work? Uh, I looked at his introduction. Uh-huh. Okay, thank you. And I have uh, has some comments. Okay. Uh, should I bring up the introduction to a certain uh, page? Uh, I, I can I can scroll through it really quickly. It's not a problem for me. Yes. Okay. So where should I go? First, first page. So I'm not sure if uh, this thermoelectric uh, nanowire uh, is applicable only in cell phones or microwaves. It's not applicable in other devices. Okay. Probably it is good to mention other applications. And okay. um, uh -huh. here is a late telluric nanowires are ideal materials, but why there is no explanation. And uh, I understand trans uh, charge transfer is important, but there is no explanation why the charge transfer is important. Um, then there are some um, uh, descriptions of different pro processes. I'm not sure if they should be in the introduction. And there, uh, I, I can see there is a model of uh, nanowire. Uh, but in the caption, it says A and B, but in the figure, there is only one model. Uh, another one is missing. This one, figure four? Probably. Figure four, yes. Okay. And um, I think this figure should go to computational details, not in the introduction. Um, yeah, that's all. Okay, yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, if there are uh, no more uh, uh, suggestions to Kevin, please uh, submit your feedback uh, directly to him. Uh, let's go to the... Uh, figures and results of Aaron. Anyone wants to uh, address uh, figures? Uh, by, by, by Aaron. Let, let, let me start. Um, I, I looked on a uh, on few things uh, that are new compared to last time. So figure five, uh, it's really cool uh, to highlight the um, active player of this big structure, but maybe showing only pairs of atoms that desorb or, adsor or adsorb um, is hard to follow by um, the reviewer. Maybe one can highlight the whole uh, functional group, like this um, acetic acid, make, make it highlighted, and then uh, it will be um, easier for a reviewer. And also, in the VMD, there is an... Uh, you, 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 I'm sure you know, the, uh, as any other visualizer, it has option to make annotations and measure distances. So maybe if uh, connecting uh, the departing atoms by, by line and uh, writing value, it may or may not be useful here. Just, just, uh, and it's more visual and aesthetic rather than scientific. So the very last uh, figure, uh, it's, uh, it's kind of expecting and uh, that uh, UV visible is five orders of magnitude more intense than infrared emission. Therefore, uh, getting infrared emitter is so much uh, more difficult and everyone seeks to do it. But I, I was looking through it in a sloppy way. I didn't carefully analyze each uh, letter, but uh, generally one may want um, a reference point. Like, uh, how does this UV visible 
uh, emission profile corresponds to the one for um, non-distorted geometry if one has a free carriers um, it may like uh, if, if you are doing logarithmic scale and they differ couple like two four times in uh, intensity it may be not the major thing but maybe it changes profile or it shifts in energy and uh, comparison to reference point can be uh, interesting and, and the same about the infra infrared um, emission um, you likely are showing it in the um, tables and addressing verbally but maybe one can set some um, graphical way of reference point telling that uh, infrared emission became more or less intense than it, it was for the uh, un undistorted structure or um, compared to the standalone polar one. It may or may not be a reasonable idea, but uh, I'm, I'm just evaluating not uh, uh, deeply scientifically, but just aesthetically as a first glance reader. Like, uh, there are interesting figure and so what like what are they good or bad how to or um, what should one compare them to like for analysis uh, anyone wants to add uh, comments and suggestions to Aaron's uh, figures okay uh, if you do have some comments uh, uh, but do not want to share publicly this email to him uh, in the results I quickly added the same um, comment at, at the very end so uh, how, to, uh, how this results can be uh, compared what, what they can be compared to um, so the paper is open for discussion if anyone has uh, Suggestions or questions? Okay, we are not yet disconnected, which is a good sign. Now, uh, let me uh, suggest to discuss uh, the work of Fatima. Um, other volunteers to go over her uh, her work. Okay. Um, what we are doing today is a little not traditional. I'm just trying to save time. Uh, next time, uh, uh, group members will be analyzing and, and speaking. So I, I, just, I quickly went through the conclusions. Uh, the verbal analyze against states of what? Not clear. Um, the um, violation of momentum conservation is really cool. It uh, catches the eye. Uh, when telling non-equilibrium dynamics, um, since all of us in the group are doing non-equilibrium relaxation dynamics, one may uh, highlight that uh, positions of nuclei are uh, fixed here, so it is not standard uh, red field recomb uh, recombination. Um, the increase of delocalization is cool, and maybe one can make a reference to cyclotron uh, even if it if it was uh, not confirmed but um, originally we were expecting circular motion and even if it is not completely reproduced in this uh, results uh, it's interesting uh, interpreting on, of fringes mm, maybe one can tell something more like um, what does it mean fringes is it a signature of something like uh, motion with higher energy or accumulation of phase uh, more analysis and uh, I didn't go to the uh, methods and results In, anyone is welcome to add more comments and uh, I'll 
I did try to fill this form for Fatima's work. So um, main message, um, just as a first time reader, something is interesting but not 100% clear. It was in, in, intriguing about formation of fringes. As a like, if I read it for the first time, I would like to learn more about it. But it is what uh, what I'm getting just from reading the conclusions. Uh, motivation. Probably it, it's going something about devices, but uh, it is not yet clear in, in explanation why two-dimensional materials are better for some sort of devices. Uh, I catcher momentum violation definitely catches an eye. I it, it's a, it's a good uh, thing to to mention uh, for sure. Um, limitations. Maybe there are th uh, well. While reading it, I realized that um, my author was doing some programming that it is not standard uh, software and, and it is also attracts uh, interest. Challenges, controversial. Um, it sounds like uh, this uh, work may tell whether the magnetic field will decrease or increase uh, conductivity because uh, in magnetic field uh, electrons start moving so it's uh, if i read very quickly without deep analysis uh, it uh, I'm, I'm not getting exact judgment of it is right or wrong but it, it definitely inspires thinking and maybe it, it, it sounds interesting and maybe it, it will uh, show this work seems as as it uh, establishes connection between magnetic field and conductivity or resistivity. Well, I was not uh, able to generate short summary, but from reading conclusions only, um, it was very unclear uh, what were the initial state for, for dynamics. Do they correspond to any specific experiment? maybe some photo excitation maybe some injection maybe they are completely non not from experiment but uh, this is what I'm, I'm missing just as a regular reader um, it sounds from uh, from this explanation that um, authors were developing a hypothesis that that magnetic field is expected to launch circular motion of electron and Maybe the paper didn't confirm this hypothesis completely, but it shows like a stream of thinking. Let's hypothesize that uh, magnetic field for quantized electron will do similar things as for, for classical. Let's check whether it will be uh, whether this hypothesis will be proved right right or wrong. Well, people who need uh, direct materials and magnetic resistance will be definitely interested in this paper. Do I want to study this material further? Yes, I do. Maybe not for graphene, but for some more modern material uh, with more simple um, electronic structure, maybe with one direct point in the brilliant zone, uh, like uh, this material. Are conclusions clearly presented? It is okay. I don't see big problems. Um, yeah, it, it's possible to, to read as, as a standalone. It's not perfect, but it's it's a good uh, document that is interesting to read. Whew. Uh, any, anyone else uh, wants to uh, provide feedback to to the um, paper by Fatima and especially the subject that I didn't uh, came to? Okay, then uh, I do not know what is the literal time when we will get disconnected, but uh, I suggest that we conclude and complete the session uh, about now. Everyone is uh, welcome to depart. I know that um, I'm behind some plans uh, with papers because of the grant proposals. The uh, list of tasks be becomes uh, a little shorter. I'm talking about you. I know that I, I was planning to 
to submit one of the papers. It's it's not forgotten. It's just uh, some uh, high priorities which which are really high. Uh, so if no one objects, uh, let's plan that everyone uh, brings conclusions for the ongoing papers uh, next week. Um, for if you celebrate next weekend and a happy celebration, um, I think some of classes, even online classes, are uh, um, cancelled on Friday and, and, and Monday. Um, I'll stay online if there are, if anyone wants to uh, chat in person. And uh, my understanding that Kevin needs to do another public talk in the rank of uh, Master's Thesis Defense in a uh, couple of weeks from now, April 22nd. His major um, challenge right now is not the public talk, but uh, completion of the thesis that is uh, expected to be submitted before public talk. So uh, probably th this is the reason why he is bring he's so productive and bringing uh, more sections than anyone else uh, each time. So uh, Kevin, you are very welcome to uh, write not only conclusions but as as much as you can uh, to the next meeting and uh, as a group you will try to go over and provide feedback. Okay, thank you much for your enthusiastic contributions. Uh, if you were making uh, handwriting or electronic writing, please email your notes to the uh, authors as reviewers. And um, after we depart, uh, after we disconnect the meeting, I'll try to see if recordings went successful and share if anyone needs. Uh, subjects that we, we discussed already. So, meeting is done. Everyone is uh, welcome to disconnect. Thanks much for uh, for understanding of the shift of the um, beginning of the meeting and for contributions. <laughs>